This is a rival that goes back since ever since. And this match was a good example of how these two clubs bring out the best in each other. The match was tied 1-1 at the half. We pick it up in the second half where things get a lot more physical. Guam Shipyard was the first to break the tie in the 23rd minute when Ken Karosish wins the sprint for the ball. Quality's goalie commits to the ball, but a swift move by Karosish gives him an unguarded goal, and Shipyard goes up by one. Almost immediately after, Quality gets some shots on goal that have potential, but all that physicality awarded Quality a penalty kick. And in the 27th minute, Philip Ogo burns one down the left upright to once again, not the game. 10 minutes later, Karosish is up to his antics again. He gets another shot at the goal after being fed a perfect pass. Once again, Brett Malnewelman commits to the ball, but Karosish is able to bang one into the net in the 37th minute. With Shipyard up 3-2, Quality Distributors works hard and gets the break they've been waiting for. Scott Leon Guerrero is awarded a penalty kick in the 45th minute and makes a goal that's worthy of ESPN's top 10 plays. You can even hear someone in the crowd make the same reference. Guam Shipyard and Quality Distributors end in a 3-3 tie. You know, it was a wet situation, so I was just trying to put it on frame. The goalie dropped a couple in the beginning, so I was like, all right, let me put it on frame, and, you know, worst that could happen is he gets punched out and we get another chance at it. Uh, it's always tough, first game back uh, after that long break, but um, uh, what a way to step back into it, huh? I mean, we can only look forward to the next game and come out with a win next time around. We just went in second half, played shipyard football. First half, we were kind of sluggish. But then again, came in the uh, second half, uh, got really aggressive. Uh, like in the first half, Jared scored that first goal, and then luckily I came in second half and uh, finished the job for us.